The third episode of Cars in the Road, Assault Fever, was definitely one of the most highly anticipated episodes by the majority of fans, and probably one of the most highly promoted episodes by Mattel with their 155 scale die cast toy line. But the thing that I really don't like about these Salt Flats characters is that they all have salty tires, and in no way does it even remotely look like salt. Like, in what world does salt cake onto a tire like it does on Royce Revsley here, or Revo Koss here, or any of these Salt Flats characters that you see right here, the mechanics and the racers that Mattel did as diecast in late 2022? And they do still look good. I mean, the paint on them and everything looks nice. I love the paint jobs and the decals that they have, but... It just really sucks. It really downgrades them all as a whole. And the thing that's even more bothersome is that when they continued to make new ones in 2023, they dropped the salty tires and salty bases and just gave them black tires and black bases. So whatever they were trying to do in 2022, they clearly realized it sucked and they stopped it with cars like Mark Sondheimer here, Gearson Marshall, Nile Speedcone. You know, so now we just got two groups of salt flats racers which should have never been divided up in the first place, and just a ton of inconsistencies. I really hate it, so today, here on the Cars Garage, everyone, welcome on back, because we are going to be painting up our Salt Flats Razors from 2022 to have completely black tires and completely black bases. So, this is going to be a lot of fun. I got the black paint here, of course, and I haven't done a painting video in quite a long time, mostly because they take so long to do you know, it has to be, for the most part, filmed on multiple different days. So, it just, it's hard to do these types of videos, but this one should actually be pretty easy because all I have to do is paint some black paint on these cars, so it really shouldn't take me all that long. So, we're going to start, I think, I don't really know who I should start with, probably Revo Koss, because he bothers me the most. Maybe I should leave him to the end, I'm not sure. Just Revo bothers me the most because he's got the salty base and salty tires, whereas some of them, I mean, like, that's jam has got the same thing, but you can't really see his tires anyways, so not really that big of a deal. And then all oh, these three do not have the salty bases for whatever reason. I mean, I don't really get it. So inconsistent, you know what I mean? But there's no rhyme or reason for why some of them have it, some of them don't. It just doesn't make any sense. For the most part, none of them even have any salt on their tires in the episode, so it just doesn't make any sense to me. But whatever, <laughs> I do have doubles of all these five. Because I got the Salt Fever 9 pack to get Peggy Liner, who also has the salty tires and salty base, but I don't care. I'm not painting Peggy Liner. She's too rare and it took me too long to get her. So, <laughs> unless I get a second one, and even if I do, probably won't be painting her up. So, yeah, let's start off. Let's get all these guys out of the way. <laughs> I just don't understand Mattel's logic sometimes, so they really do boggle my mind. I don't know who I want to start with. I think I'm going to start with Royce. I really want to leave Revo for last because he bothers me the most. So, yeah, just want to wait. I'm saving the best for last. But Royce is pretty bad, too, because you can really see his tires because he does not have wheel wells in the front. So, yeah, <laughs> let's begin, guys. Got the paint all poured. So, yeah, let's begin, guys. This is going to be pretty fun. You guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy as I fix Mattel's mistake.
All right, well, I got them all finished up, all these sulfides, razors, and mechanics. They're definitely looking much better than they did right out of the Mattel factories. But you know what? I don't know. I'm a little disappointed with the kind of paint that I used. I didn't really think about that going into it. I just thought, hey, black paint, there it is. I got some laying around, so let's paint them up. But I probably should have used a glossy kind of paint. I use an acrylic, which kind of gives off like a matte look. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Mattel never does their tires matte. I mean, just look, this is mine compared to a real black Mattel tire. It's obviously not as black. <laughs> it definitely looks more faded and washed out. But at the end of the day, it almost looks like rubber tires. So, I don't know. I'm not really hating it. And as long as it's black, you know, it's not that ugly, creamy, salty color, which doesn't even look like salt anyways, then I'm a happy camper. So, let's start off one by one. I'll show you guys them all. I think I'm most happy about probably Rebo, so we'll spend the most time on him probably. Sarah Cogs doesn't look all that much different because she didn't really have very thick tires to begin with. And she never had a salty base, it was always black. And she has a metal base too. But still much better than this one, which looks very like, I don't know, she doesn't look as minty anymore. She looks very minty before. I think it's because of those tires. It gave off like a misty kind of seafoam green type of feel from her. But now I don't really get that anymore. It just feels like a normal green color. Just, I don't know why. I guess it's just a contrast with the black now instead of the white. But yeah, it definitely looks better on her. Nice that she never had a salty base, though. It's just so weird. Like, why not? You know, if Mattel's going to do it, why not go all out and make them look ultra bad? You know what I mean? Do the base as well. But I don't know why they didn't for some. They did for others. Here's Noriyuki. I think he looks way better now with the black tires. Once again, no white base. He never had it before, so I didn't have to paint that. But, I mean, even if he did, you wouldn't really see it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's just that he had very thick tires before. So I think they look a lot better being black now. Just more natural, you know? It's like, whatever you're recreating a scene when they're not on the salt flats, or you're just, like, playing around with them, you know? Why do they have the salty tires still? Like, it wouldn't make sense. So it was just a stupid idea that Mattel did. Unless, I mean, if they would have done it right, like they did previously in other years with sand and snow and mud, you know? <laughs> I think it could have looked okay, but I don't know. They didn't do that. They chipped out on it, and they made them all one color and it just doesn't look good you know so it's nice that they made all these guys very accessible to get so i was able to get doubles and paint them up here's royce rebsley another one that looks much 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 better with the black tires especially because like it wasn't just his wheels that were all like salty before but like the insides of the wheels too like the little part connecting them to the like the rivets and everything it just like that's all black now too and it just looks much better it just looks so much more natural. I like it a lot more. Now, Royce never had a salty base either, just like Noriyuki and Sarah Coggs. But that would have looked bad because they could have easily made this part salty too. They could have made the entire back section salty. I mean, to be honest, they wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> it's connected to the base, so why not? <laughs> According to Mattel's logic, they did it on Revo Koss with his bumper, which we'll take a look at in a second. But he had a metal base, too. I, he still has a metal base. Obviously, I didn't change that. But, um, yeah, I never really understood why, but it's cool. By the way, I did not paint the uh, Salt Flats 9-pack versions of these guys. I painted the singles versions, just in case anyone was wondering. Because I think that they are slight variants, so I decided to paint the ones that I don't already have doubles of in the package. Because, you know me, I always buy two. One to keep in the package, one to open. Here's Revo Koss, who probably looks the best out of all of them, because just like Royce Resley, he has the exposed tires. He does not have any wheel wells. Uh, but, but Royce only has the exposed tires in the front, kind of like Francesco has. So, yeah, and he's got the bumper that was salty before, so he just benefits greatly from this. I couldn't paint the... I couldn't, like, leave the teal part there. I had to paint over it. I actually tried to leave it. I tried scratching it off. It just didn't come out very well. Trust me, it didn't look very good. So I left it on the sides, but not in the middle part there. As you can tell, it was supposed to be teal. Oh, well, <laughs> it was just too tight right there. That's why I found this this uh, whole painting project pretty easy. But a lot of times, it's stuff like that, and it's just hard to paint because it's such small little areas. You have to get the brush in, and my brushes are pretty big. So, yeah, it was kind of hard to do. Obviously, the base looks much better now being black. 
I mean, I don't see how anyone could like this. I don't think anyone does. I never heard one person say, I actually like the salty tires and the salty bases. It looks good. Never heard that said once. <laughs> now here's Dad Jammin' who doesn't really benefit all that well from the black base now because he can't really see it. Um, but if you look underneath, obviously he does. His whole base was salty before, so it definitely looks better being black. <laughs> I actually had to paint some of the insides of him black too where it's all like the Zamac finish. Unfortunately, I didn't really want to cover that up, but in order to paint the tires, I kind of had to. It's okay, I don't really see it anyways. But yeah, his tires, you can't really see anyways. So it wasn't really a big deal, but I decided to paint them anyways, just because it's not like any of the salt was really coming up into the visible parts on him. Unless you look at him like a side view, like right here, you can tell it's salty. But even so, the shadow almost makes it look black, so it's not that big of a deal. He definitely looks a little better though now, benefits slightly from it, but I think that Revo benefits the most from the black tires, in my opinion, and Royce Resley too, I think he looks really good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I tried with the trim, because Revo does have some trim, I tried to keep it on the best I could, it actually didn't turn out too bad, in my opinion, I feel like it was worse on Royce Resley, I might have to fix that later on off camera, I just wanted to give you guys the gist of it, you know, let you guys see what it might look like if you wanted to try this out yourself because it's very easy to do if you have extras of these guys or even, even if it's your only ones i mean it <laughs> might be a good idea to paint them up because it just makes them look so much more consistent with all the other salt flats razors that mattel is doing these days like mark zondheim or nile speed cone and of course kirsten marshall so i mean i think it's a good idea to do let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of these freshly painted salt flats razors and mechanics i think they turned out pretty good could be a little better but pretty good maybe if you're gonna do it maybe go out and get some glossy paint because it might turn out better but if not they still look pretty cool anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time on the cars garage